in Kalihi Valley to address crime and homeless issues. New at 530, our Jolani Martinez gives us a closer look at a homeless camp that residents and officials want gone. Decourt Neighborhood Park is hidden and within Kalihi Valley, but residents say it's barely used. They're concerned about a homeless encampment that's right up this hill. It's a bit of a hike getting to the homeless camp. Old fire hose are used to assist people up the steep hill. So they've been here Along for the way, long there's time. a lot of debris. This, then whoa, you'll find whoa, makeshift whoa. homes overlooking Kalihi Valley. That's State lawmaker John yeah, Mazuno says this is the same area where a woman fatally stabbed her boyfriend in 2019. We're concerned with um, violence, domestic violence, crime, a fire hazard, and other things. And some of the people that, you know, if they uh, do a criminal act, Many times they'll run up the hillside and use it as a refuge just to hide. And we, we need to try to stop that, deter that. Well, there's a lot of homeless going on over there. And there was an incident, they come and they steal it. And then uh, they trash the area. But residents aren't the only victims of theft. That's my piece. Mario Kalantok couldn't afford to pay for his late parents' Kalihi home. He's been living along the hillside for five years. They're like, same as us, homeless, but then why rub homeless against homeless? Mm. You know, we, we try to make things happen for ourselves, and with, with them, they're, they're just making it worse for us to do what they do. The difficult thing is that eventually they're going to have to come down, because I believe that city and county land and, you know, it's a big liability. The city says they're aware of the homeless camp. It's been up there for, for a bit of a time, but, but all the people aren't the same. So, you know, there's some transition that happens. And so within that, it's, it's, we, we have to take each, each situation in its own way. And so, so there's groupings of people that are up there, but there are also families that we've been able to house that were there. Residents hope to reach a solution with lawmakers in a community meeting tonight. Reporting from Kalihi Valley, Jolani Martinez, Hawaii News Now. And now to